Hello, this is a short explainer video showing you how to use the ISOFARM washer disinfector compliance logbook. Completing our logbook helps you to comply with HTML 105 in England and Northern Ireland, SDCEP in Scotland, and WHTML 105 in Wales, plus manufacturer guidelines. Step 1. Filling in the front cover. You will need to write in the machine serial number and the logbook start date. The end date should be completed after all 12 months of record keeping have been used. You will also need to complete the tick box section to highlight the specific tests required and the frequency that they are to be carried out. Step 2. This section requires you to complete a more in-depth detail of your machine and provide details of its location. The roles and responsibilities section should also be completed so that staff can clearly identify who is responsible for what element of the decontamination process. Names and contact telephone numbers should also be included here. A brief definition of the responsibilities of each role is provided. Step 3. Visit the ISOFARM Dental website. Here you can get your free test schedule. The schedule will tell you what tests to do and when you need to carry them out. It will also advise you of which products should be used. All of the information you receive is specific to your machine and your practice. Step 4. The Guidance section. This is a new feature of the ISOFARM logbooks and is intended to advise on all guidance relevant to the washer disinfector process. The guidance section is split into two sections. The first is about the washer disinfector process and how to validate it. The first spread covers the washer disinfector process itself, describing what it is, when it is performed and by who. Then comes testing and validation, including what is meant by validation, when it is performed, and also test schedules from several guidance documents. Next is the protein residue test, including when to perform the test, plus instructions for using different methods. The cleaning efficacy test is next, which presents the importance of using the correct test soil for your machine, plus when and how to carry it out. Finally comes the automatic control test pages, advising how to carry out this observational test. The second section provides information on the decontamination process as a whole. You can also gain non-verifiable CPD from our guidance areas using the sheet from the training section of this logbook. The decontamination guidance starts with a decontamination flowchart, which maps out the entire process from preparation to storage. The second spread covers hand hygiene and provides a flowchart of hand cleaning techniques. The next page deals with personal protective equipment, including the order of PPE placement and removal. Then the decontamination guidance covers instrument inspection, with an extract from the ISOFARM decontamination flowchart on how this is performed. Finally, the guidance section ends with pouches, trays and transportation, including details on transport boxes, plus storage periods for decontaminated instruments. Step 5. Daily and weekly record sheets. In this section you are required to complete and record all necessary tests performed. This will include general housekeeping, the visual cleaning efficacy test, protein residue test, and the manufacturer's soil test. You must complete as much of the testing tables as possible. An empty box could be misinterpreted as the requirement has been missed. Completing the record keeping couldn't be easier. Simply fill in the information as tests are completed. Step 6. Quarterly record sheets. These sheets are to be completed by your validation engineer. Many manufacturers have decreased the amount of engineer validations. If a test sheet is not to be used, document that it is due to the manufacturer's frequency of test rather than leaving it blank. Step 7. Annual record sheets. These sheets are also to be completed by your validation engineer. Many manufacturers have decreased the amount of engineer validations. If a test sheet is not to be used, document that it is due to the manufacturer's frequency of test rather than leaving it blank. Step 8. History record sheets. All faults with the washer disinfector should be logged here. This will provide details to the engineer should a site visit be required. The engineer should then close the faults by detailing what was rectified. Step 9. This section of the logbook is for you to gain non-verifiable CPD from the guidance section. Each question is based on a subject from each chapter. Simply fill in your answers and add to your personal CPD portfolio. Step 10. A unique feature of the ISOFARM logbooks is the bookmark. This should be used to keep your place within the record sheets. The reverse of the bookmark features details of our online verifiable CPD and relevant products which can be purchased from the ISOFARM webshop. 
ISOFARM logbooks create a practice-wide compliance system that provides you with complete and comply record keeping, essential guidance, non-verifiable CPD, and total peace of mind. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or require any advice, please ring free phone 0800 840 0105 or visit the ISOFARM website.